Yeah, what up, what's going on? You know, this is your boy, Jamrat the Trucker Man, the Trucker Trucker Man TV. Just out here, man, in my truck right now. Just cleaning up. I want y'all to see, man. See that mess what I make? Got a mess, man. I got a mess. So, remember the other day I was telling you guys about my trailer. See, down here I got trash too. More blankets when I fold up. The other day I was telling you guys about, oh yeah, man, look. See, I got a lawnmower right there. Got a lawnmower in the truck. Are you trying to buy this? Are you guys trying to buy this lawnmower from me, man? Who's who's trying to buy this lawnmower? It's lawnmower. Well, I get it from a customer. See what the name on it? Under man. I get it from a customer. She gave that lawnmower to me, so you know what I mean. So I will be cutting some pavement with it. I'm just messing with y'all, man. Oh, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Yeah, that lawnmower's. Customer give it to me because you know when you do moving, that's how it goes, man. When you do work, do removal, which is this is not removal, this is moving where you move people from state to state. So these are my blankets right here. These are the blankets what I use to wrap up the furniture. Make you see what's going on. These are the one I use to wrap the furniture. But right now, it's in a mess right now. As I can see, it was more than this. I fold some of them up already. If you notice right there, I'm, I got a stock right there that I'm folding right now. See, I need a stock right there. In, in a little bit, man, you're going to look in this trailer. And you ain't going to see crap. That's going to be all done. But yeah, see, I have a deck. I'm just walking to my trailer. I have a deck right there where um, this is, this can, this can all right up here. Can hold from that deck. You see that line there from that deck you could hold five thousand pounds. So I was telling you I could bring so many house. Sometimes I got I just fit six thousand pounds on here, which was almost two. Well, yeah, it was two two shipment. It was two house, meaning enough they have one bed, a dresser, and some boxes, man, and a nightstand. And some people have a a sofa so i fit that on there which was like pretty much reasonable and so like i said i could fit twenty eight thousand pounds from up from this front here to that back door down there twenty eight thousand and that you can fit i can fit probably four house on here if they doesn't move everything inside a big house i can fit it like a one bedroom i can fit that on there i can fit five of those on here Cause like I said, five thousand pound and six thousand pound and ten thousand pound. I, I fit twenty two plus four twenty six twenty seven pound. I bring back from Kansas City a couple of days ago, so I can fit all of those on here. So I just let you see, man, what is going on in here. Right now, I just got my blankets. I got to fold them blankets up, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of what's going on. Fold up my blankets, and the note ain't gonna see this trailer clean and nice. So that's what I'm working on right now. When you plant it up. It's something I gotta do every day. Once my truck is off load, I gotta do this. So imagine every day, every every time I gotta fold my blanket up. So let you see, see? Fold my blankets up. These are the these are the stuff. These are the blankets we use to wrap up furniture. So when you go into somebody's house, we take our blankets and we wrap up furniture. Wrap up your, your dresser, your bed, your sofa, all that good stuff we wrapped up here. And um, guys, I know y'all don't think, but in this business, man, is in the moving business, you could make money and also you could lose money because. You got a lot of claims in it. When I say claims, y'all know what claims is, man. Sometimes you might break something, you have to pay for it. If 
you are own operator and you're gonna pay for it. So we try to use the blankets to protect every piece of furniture coming from the house. I might show you a little clipping that one of the guys was wrapping up a piece of furniture to she wrapped up a chair. And so I might show you a uh, clippings of that. And I'm me show you a little bit of how we load the trucks. I know I'm kinda uh, I'm kinda one of them guys who picky with my truck or uh, do my blankets because so sometimes it's not everybody can afford my blankets. Oh, I'm a very picky guy. You come out with my blankets. I like all my blankets go one way. See, they, I don't like this right, I don't like this, but if you look at this, I'm not sure on this side. Hot out here, guys. So, you know, I gotta get this thing together. But, um, let me show you what's up. See, now I might like my blanket to be straight, even though all of this is not straight the way I want it to be straight. But, uh, my blanket goes one way. So, if you come into my truck and you want to fold my blanket up, I just want to see all of them goes one direction, and yeah, which is like this. So, as I said, man, I'll catch up back with you and let you see when I'm finished the trailer clean and nice. So when the trailer clean and nice, your boy jam out the truck at TV, man. Yo, stay tuned, man, to your boy, man. I'll get back with you, all right? Peace.
said to you i was gonna get it cleaned up right look at it it's all clean right now i'm just putting my tools up here because i gotta take these dollies and i gotta put it in my next truck because in my next trailer because i already have a loaded trailer ready to go this is my trailer well this is the one i always pull but this was this was loaded this trailer was loaded so i just decided to get the next one and Load that one, load that one up. So this one empty now. This one is empty and clean. yo, look at the floor, guys. Look at the floor. The floor clean and blankets fold. These are like I said, these are the blankets I used to fold up my furniture. Right here, see it? one stock right there. Nice stock, man. Three stocks on this. I got seven, six, six big stock, one little stock. And here, let y'all see, man. Fold all of these up by myself. Down here now is all my rubber bands, man. These are the these are the rubber bands what I use to wrap my furniture up. I don't use tape. So I use a rubber band to wrap my furniture up instead of tape. Because when they use tape, man, that's a lot of work to take the tape off and all that good stuff. So I decided to use rubber band. And it's more easier and efficient, man. Cheaper. So you ain't well, I get like see it. I just take them back, put them back up there. But as you can see, man, the trailer clean, blankets full up. So you want to do it, man. So this is ready for the road again. But like I said, I already have a loaded trailer. So I'm not going to worry too much about that one. So this is going to be the one I'm going to be running. I'm going to park this one and I see my lawnmower right there. You can see that. And my lawnmower is pretty much right here. And, um... It's a, it's a straw bolt, but I don't understand. This is on the top. Let me make sure that's up right, man. Anyway, anyway, peeps. So these stays in my hand here for right now. And um, for right now, so until I get back from out of town, I'm going to be gone for another two weeks. If you know what I mean. So happen is go back to work man busy season right now so you gotta do what you gotta do but yes people 
yes so hopefully my head is not cut off because i probably it probably do so let me put it on a little bit more Keeper, so this is your boy Jam at the Chucka TV, man. This is moving business, busy season coming up right now. So, yo, you gotta make sure you keep your trailer clean and nice, ready for the next shipment. Normally, I try to get out here and clean my trailer up myself because look what my hand is dirty. Because, um, you don't want to pull your trailer to a customer, you go to a customer, and then they come in the chain, look and see it's all in mess. So I try to keep my trailer clean. As soon as I drop my shipment off, I try to fold my blankets up and I try to sweep the floor just to make sure everything's look good in it. So yo, always man, keep your stuff clean in one, put everything together in one place and you're good. But yeah, um, like I was saying is, busy season coming up and you could make a lot of money in busy season and then you know, winter time is slow down. So you gotta try to make all the money you could make now. And then when winter time come, but I can just chill. Alright? So this is your boy man. Jam right the chucker man. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, man. I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of these kind of videos like in the house and stuff when I'm loading the truck up. But half of the time, man, I'm I'm doing the paperwork, like I'm doing the inventory, and now somebody's loading my truck. So I never really load because all the other guys already load my truck, so half of the time i don't get to do no video i can't get to do anything but for right now man this is your boy jamra the trucker man please like and what share man and subscribe to the channel and tell me what's going on man leave your comments down in the bottom man because you know your boy gonna be reading them same way i just want to shout out to each and everyone who subscribed to the channel who will leave me their comments i want to check shout out uh is it ag barn jamaican shout out to you man appreciate the loves man um, Island Chucker, appreciate your love. Same way, RLTV, RLCTV, appreciate your love. Yo, Char Star, big up yourself, you know. Marvin. Watch this video and learn. You want learn how you fold your blankets, make it look neat. See, yo, look, catch up with you on a little bit, man. Shout out to, um, or shout out to Roberta, Robert, Roberta Jordan. Roberta Diamond, sorry, Roberta Diamond. Um, I want to shout out, yo, yo, if I miss you, man, I shout out to each and everyone, man. Yo, appreciate you. I love what you show me on the channel. Thank you, man. This is your boy, Jamrat the Chucker.